We thank you, Lord, and we give you praise. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Maybe while standing like that, it will be good for us to read, the, to read the scripture. And you at home, please follow with us. I know this is a great day. And we are looking at the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 1. And we are looking at towards the end of the Gospel of Luke. We are looking at verse number 67 to verse number 79. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 1, verse 67 to 79. Please, let's read together. And his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited us and accomplished redemption for his people. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Just as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from the ancient times. A salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. To show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he saw to our father Abraham. To grant us that we, being rescued from the hand of our enemies, would serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, also will be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go on before the Lord to prepare his ways. To give his people the knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. Because of the tender mercy of our God, with which the sunrise from on high will visit us, to shine on those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the holy way of peace. Father, that is your word. Oh, would you speak to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. We may get seated in the presence of the Lord. It's good to see all of you. And because we want, some of you are not with us on, Sun, on Friday, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We wish you the Lord's blessing. And today we are looking at Christmas. What is it? You know, after all the celebration and uh, some of us, God bless you if you celebrated. But if, celebration, if Christmas was only celebration, how about those that never celebrated anything? They were there, they worried, they are even concerned about the waking up. How about those people that did not have a Christmas tree like the one we have in church? If Christmas is a Christmas tree, how about those that by the grace of God were able to open boxes from the Christmas tree? Maybe, and there are some there. I hope there are some gifts for me. But, you know, they were able to open boxes. But there are others that had no boxes to open. And yet, this would mean something to them. So the question is, what is then is Christmas? What is Christmas? And I like what uh, Millicent said in the first service that um, about uh, uh, Christmas, if you miss it, then you miss all of it. Uh, because it is not that shamra shamra. It is the person. And I pray that God can help us to see the person who is our savior. No wonder as I sat there, what came into my spirit was savior. The one you healed, the one you protected, the one you took care of, the one you provided for, has come to church today to worship you. Do you know, just like uh, Millicent was saying, in March, we never knew whether December will come. But I like the way she said that to her, it is January, February, March, and the rest of it is the blessing of the Lord. So there is no one time that we could sh be shaken. Sickness, Corona came, yes, but it is not... Corona is not the worst thing that has ever happened. There are many other things that have happened, but we don't know why Corona has been lifted to that level. Somebody was telling me the other day, Corona might not go away. What are we going to do about it? And then I was telling them, they, they are going to give us some cards. Una pigwa shindano, daktari. Shindano moja. Inachukua miaka sijue watakusema ni miaka mingapi. So as long as you have that card, it shows you are well. But you know even with those cards, the ones that we receive when we are traveling, that does not mean we will not fall into sickness and some challenges. But even with that, if we know the purpose and the reason for Christmas, there will be nothing that will hinder us from praising and worshiping the King of Kings. For those that are watching us in the tent or outside, 
uh, please uh, bear with us. It, it's only this little season uh, called Corona. We will come and squeeze back again. We'll give high five. We'll hug. I know some of you have been longing to hug, to hug each other. Uh, you know some of you are from the new generation. But some of us in the old generation, we hug the huggables, you know. But I know some of you, uh, you know, hugging is everybody. But uh, even that will come. And we are looking forward to it. One of the archbishops said, one of the mistakes he did, because he was in matter for a while, is he went and hugged the people. They were so excited when the church was opened again. He landed in matter with the COVID. So he said, me, I know where I got mine. Because he opened himself so much to the people. And you know you are a minister. Wachungaji lazima tuchunga watu wa mungu. Kue na corona kusiwe. You know, I know one time I called a friend of mine somewhere. I said, Bishop, please help me conduct a funeral for me because I have no uh, travel documents to come to that place and I don't know what is going to happen. The guy said, Hebu waache wa jizike wenyewe. You are a minister like men, you are saying so. So I forgot about him. I had to look for somebody else to do it because we will be ministers with the COVID or no COVID until Christ comes. Kwani anaye tulinda ni nani? Hmm? Hata tukiweka hiyo kitu unaweka barakoa na wakati mwingine unasahau na iteremsha kwa pua mara nyingine unaiweka hapa mwingine unaweka huku chini you know wengine unaweka kwa mkono nani anakulinda Mungu tu kwa hivyo although we are going to take all the precautions that we can take we still know there is a God who takes care of us blessed be the name of the Lord so the question that we want to address ourselves there now is then what is christmas and I want to start by giving you a small story of the Sunday school children that were, were trying to, 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 to do the carols. And in the carols, they, they had uh, the, place, the place where baby Jesus, baby Jesus was placed and, and so on. Normally, if it is a concert, what happens is lights will go off. But the only place that will have light is where Jesus is so that people can see the cradle. Right? But something happened to the children, the children that were supposed to put off all the other lights and leave one light uh, on, switched everything. But some other child was heard, screaming out, Aka ya baby Jesus umeposa! Aka ya baby Jesus umeposa! Even though we all know that Christmas is about the birth of the Savior, it is easy to get caught up in the cultural approach to the holiday and switch off Jesus. It's possible as we eat whatever we are eating and enjoying what we are enjoying to switch off the baby Jesus and forget the purpose of why Jesus came. It has nothing to do with the things that happen around us. It has something to do with what ought to happen within us. And the whole of Christmas really is salvation. Please forgive me. But this takes me back and you know I was, I was talking with my mother the other day because my father was a pastor. And in Thika town every Christmas on the 24th we will go around knocking homes singing Murekyo. Or send one. The send one. And all what we used to do is to knock the house and then step back a, a few steps so that the owners of the house can also come out and join us as we sing the Christmas carol. But this, for you older guys like Karogano here, older than myself and Ruth and so on, and, and my age mate over here, the, 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 the thing we used to tell them was, Enemoshioyo, motiume. You guys from this house, come out. Come out and see the wonders that takes the devil away. So in other words, Christmas is the wonder that takes the devil away. And the only way to take the devil away is when we allow his salvation to come inside so that the darkness within us can come out. And I'm going you, what do you mean? Come out and see the wonder of the Lord. So it has nothing to do with the things that are around us. In Luke 2 and verse 11, the, as the, the angel told the shepherd that night when Jesus was born, for today in the city of David, 
a savior who is Christ the Lord is born. Today, the purpose of today, in other words, you shepherd, wake up. Go to Bethlehem. Go and see a savior to save you has been born. So Christmas is we telling others, come and see the wonder of salvation. Come and see the one who can save you and set you free. So the theme of salvation then comes through in, in the prophecy of Zechariah. You see Zechariah, and we saw it, when, when Zechariah was told he was going to have a child, he doubted. So the Lord made sure, touch somewhere, this guy could not speak. Now that he could not speak, everybody, when he came out, they knew Ameona Kitu. He had seen something. And he did not speak until John was born. And when he was going to write the name John, his voice came back. Because nobody else could have given the name, and the name was given by the angel, and it had to agree. So, when he did that, prophecy comes from Zechariah. And this is what he tells us in verse 67 to 79. You will recall that although Zechariah was a godly man, some month before the angel had struck him down because he doubted the promise that he and his wife Elizabeth would have a son in their old age. Luke chapter 1 verse 20. But now that the son was born and Zechariah's tongue was loosed, filled with the Holy Spirit as the Bible says, he spoke his prophecy and he focuses on the great salvation that God was about to bring. And it shows us that Christmas means that God sent us the Savior in the person of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So therefore, our greatest need at Christmas is a time not for more things. We have a lot of plenty of things. Actually, sometimes, do you know you have things that you still keep wondering when will you get back to that tattoo? You know, I, I normally long to go back to that tattoo. But can I tell you for sure? I will never. I have tried. Baka ni nawanda. Kwa ni that tattoo ilikuwa nini? Ni mimi nilikuwa ni kiota. But I can tell you for sure. Waste that tattoo. Bless you, man of God. See? That tattoo. Sasa nikienda kupimwa inakuja 44. Nina slim inakuja 42. Sasa hiyo nimenyongwa hata shingo imekuwa ndefu. Sasa kama niko na hiyo kasuti nimeweka, ati bado nitakava. Miaka 30, nini God have mercy. So if all of us God has given us things but we still wonder. <laughs> na viatu nayo Umejeza viatu mbaka unashi, utazivaa lini. You know, I used to have an elder here who is a friend of mine. I will not mention his name because you might text him. He used, he used to cause me to really enjoy life. He took life very easy. Very easy. He would walk with the shoes until he doesn't need it anymore. Then he goes to the butter shop, gets a new one, throw that one in the now you know what I'm talking about. Iyo viatu umeweka chini ya kitanda. Ni ya nini? Siku utahama. Dio utashanga. Zingine ni mpia. Zingine ulefa siku moja. Zingine ulefa wikimbiri. Zingine hata. Nanguoje. Ingine ulefa kwa occasion. Uliku menunua kwa occasion. Ulipo maliza occasion. Una, unaomba occasion irudi. Na kuna occasion zingine ya zirudi. Na zingine siyo nzuri sana kurudi. For example, kama ulikuwa ya matanga. Unataka matanga ingine. Tafadhali, we. Omba mungu matanga iishe kwenu. Do you know, I normally, when I think about matanga, there was, watu wali nisikiria uruma. E church. <laughs> there was a time wali kufa kwetu, Ruth. Waka dead. Wali mekimbiza na hivi. A couple of months, I don't know, three or four months. Wamekimbiza na hivi. My sister, mukijana yake, musijana yake, musijana yake ingine, kijana yake ingine. Mbaka, nikaona watu wananiangalia. Karibu waniambie, are you cast? I am not. (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm not cursed. Wakanisikia huruma. Actually, wengine wakatumiwa na Mungu, Bwana wabariki na muishi milele. Wakaangalia tutoto tumebaki, tutoto kumina. Oh, wakanambia tutakusaidia bishop. Na kumbe walikuwa wakitumiwa na Mungu wanisukume. Because God knew I could handle them. Sasa kamoja kaka form 4 kamwisho na tulikuwa zaidi ya kumi. Ai! The one you protected, the one you have covered comes to church to worship you. So Zachariah gets into this prophetic uh, 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 word so that we can understand it if you have forgotten in verse 68 Zachariah uses the, uh, the he mentions redemption 69 71 77 salvation 74 uh, being delivered and I want to draw out of this passage four points that I think are important for us when we talk about salvation Come and see the wonder. Come and see what God can do for you. Number one, salvation is God doing, not our doing. If you forget that, it's so critical for you because salvation has nothing to do with you. Well, sit at the end the first service there is a lady who has the worship while worshiping and as they sang what God has done, I saw her walk and place her offering on the, on the, on the altar. Then I, in my spirit, I said, oh God, what you have done to this woman? I know there are many people that don't understand. It is not her intellectual ability. Nothing. But God just turned the whole thing. Whichever pl- pl- plans the devil had for her, the Lord turned them around that today she drives to come to church. I normally say, wewe mungu kweri, fever, fever yako ni kari sana. Yes. Si wegine mungu ya sema mpewe mungu na pari ya kupaki. Iyo gari. Ati mungu si uge nipatia mi kona pari ya kupaki. Ana kunyipa anapatia mama hako na watoto kumina wawiri. Ah, nikasikia uu mungu ni wajabu. So in my spirit is like uh, the Lord was trying to tell me Jimmy don't you worry there are things that God is going to do to your people and some of them will be surprised because nobody thinks about them but God up in heaven thinks about you and he knows you even you at home or in the tent or outside God knows you and he has a wonderful plan for you salvation has nothing to do with your effort Yes. Salvation is of the Lord and this comes through strongly in the, some of the verses that we have read. Verse 68 and 78 Zechariah says the Lord visited us. Yaani hey, we akiamua uka karatika akulino hapo akiamua Ata, atafuti gugu ati gugu map. You know where we moved in, we, we, they, they, now they put us on the Google. Mm. Yeah, praise God. But it used to be very interesting. You would come and get right to where we are and get lost. And sometimes I think that is the way some of us, you know, where we find ourselves. Google map, haikuoni, lakini mungu akikuona, Haijalishi kama Google map anakujua. There is very there is nothing that you do salvation is of the Lord. Provision is of the Lord. Cover is of the Lord. How many times have they threatened your company that they are going to retrench you and you have survived? Ni kwa sababu ya hikima yako. Ni neema ya Mungu tu. Yaani wanakuja wanakata watu. Wewe ndio wa mwisho below you. Chwa. Huyo ndiye Mungu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Salvation belo- uh, He visited us. And the prophecy, if you like, is stepped up in the Old Testament. The theme of God visiting his people comes from Genesis 50 and verse 24 and 25 when Joseph is telling them as a prophet, God will visit you. And he tells them seriously, because he will visit you, hata yomifupayangu musiwache. 
Because God had prophesied to our fathers Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I like that. Because when he visits, he comes to redeem. When he visits, he comes to deliver. May the Lord visit you. Because when he visits, he's going to do something. He will deliver. He will redeem. He will provide. That is the reason and the purpose of Christmas. I thank God. Tunaweza kula kambuzi. Lakini hiyo sio Christmas. Hiyo ni tumbo. Na Paulo anasema katika Warumi. Tumbo ni ya nini? Na chakula ni ya nini? Na tumbo na chakula zote mbili atafanya nini? Bas. Kwa hivyo ukikula hata iwe ni kuku na wengine tunapenda kuku sana. Ukionjo unasema kuku wewe ni watumbo. Na wewe tumbo wewe ni wakuku. Lakini nyinyi wawili Musinisumbue. Kuna siku mtawekwa kando. You know whatever you love best. I don't know who I was telling. One of the things that uh, Sir Charles Mimi napenda chakula hata kukuliko. Ndio Charles anasemaga kile kitu yake lazima iwe na chakula na rose anafanyaga chua amepata ya kutosha. Mimi napenda chakula kwamba unless I get out from the dining table nitaendelea kula. So for me I have to run away. And I tell Alice, "We, tuamuke." Kwa unakaa kidogo unaongeza kanyama. Unakaa kidogo unaongeza tuboga. Unakaa kidogo na ulishiba. Lakini napenda chakula. Wewe chakula na wewe tumbo. Biashara yenu ni moja tu. God is going to deal with you. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. God visiting us. God visiting us. Joseph repeats this at the visitation which God shall visit you then you shall carry my bones with you and after an interval of 400 years in slavery in Egypt we read God telling Moses Exodus 3:16 visiting I have visited you Exodus 4:31 he is saying I have come nimekuja So the people believed and when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel and that he had looked on their affliction then they bowed their heads and worshiped yani may god visit you may god visit you hallelujah if you are living in object poverty and one day a kind of billionaire yani ma billionaire hawa now you know umaskini ni mbaya sana sema ni mbaya umaskini mbaya kwamba ukiwa maskini uone baskili ya mtoto wa jirani haina mguu unafikiria kama angekupatia hiyo ndio ukalipea na unajua yeye ni kushindwa ameshindwa kulipea lakini wewe unaona unaweza ripea hiyo ni umaskini ama kwenda Amerika ukisikia kuna mama mzee alipatia dugu fulani ha, eh, 200 dollars unajaribu kwenda the same town and the same church na unauliza kwani huyu mama anaonaga kwani anioni umaskini ni mbaya umaskini tusiongee habari ya umaskini tuachane naye but if a, a billionaire shows up you know and uh, you, you already you have anticipation